Sam Davis Youth Camp, like many other summer camps, is a place your child or grandchild can go to have fun, meet other children, swim, play games, learn skills, and horseback ride. But Sam Davis Youth Camp offers much more to your child than games and activities. Sam Davis Youth Camp is a place your child can go to learn about our Southern history from great teachers who will teach them the truth about our founding, our constitution, and the cause for Southern independence. They will also experience the culture and the traditions that make up our Southern heritage. Ultimately, Sam Davis Youth Camp will give your child the knowledge, experiences, and create the relationships that will make him or her want to belong to our great Southern heritage organizations and keep the flame of Southern liberty burning bright for the generations to come. Hi, I'm, I'm Bruce Cunningham, the uh, camp director for the Texas Sam Davis Youth Camp. This is my fourth year in leadership, and it's a great project to be a, a part of. I have children who attend. Uh, I see the light in their eyes when they learn the truth about their history from people besides their father and mother. So it's exciting for them to see them learn uh, history, learn truth, and and learn that other folks like themselves have that common American heritage that has uh, been born and bred in them. And they, these friends come from uh, the other areas of the South, from, from North Carolina, from Louisiana, from Arkansas, Missouri, and of course, Texas. Uh, what I like about uh, the program is that we have access to national speakers, national authorities on, on our history, uh, great topics and great writers. We're never short on volunteers to come and teach and train and and lead. And we, we encourage members of the SCV and historians and those who want to invest in the future to to send their camps, uh, children and grandchildren, send their kids, send their the money that goes with it and help support them for this in, very inexpensive opportunity in the, in the summertime. One of the things that's most remarkable about the Sam Day Sheath Camp is what I've seen is uh, it's an educational opportunity for our, our young people. It gives them a chance to learn something while they're having fun, which of course kids love to have fun and kids love to learn, uh, but sometimes they get tired of one or the other. This gives them a chance to, to model future good learning under great instructors besides their parents. And then they also have a chance to interact with others, learn others, meet other students that are doing the same thing. And to do all this sandwiched with horseback riding, fishing, camping, and uh, shooting black powder muskets. Uh, we've uh, sent a great retention level with that too. And once we have some exams, we have some uh, retention, what we call uh, uh, learning, checks on learning, to make sure that these, kid, these young people are are learning something throughout the week. And we'll have a competition at the end of the week for retention, uh, sometimes a silver dollar or a, a ribbon or, or who gets to eat first, maybe uh, based on who answers what the question's right. So um, the leaders and, and the counselors are educated in training young people. Many of them are homeschool moms and dads, so they're used to kids and working with kids. So it else adds to that element of education as much as, as fun and entertainment. I've, I've been a part of the American Legion and I've seen uh, what American Legion does, uh, sending, uh, young people to boys state, girls state in Austin every year. And I liken or compare what we do to, to, to this because statesmanship is a Southern art and tradition and, and no, no nation or civil government can rise without a level of statesmanship among its people. And so we teach that statesmanship through oratory contests, through of course knowledge and, and learning to share those ideas with others. And the campers get a chance to do this during the week and practice for the the grand competition on Friday, and this gives them a chance to practice those skills. And if my kids can learn it, anyone can, because all kids are nervous about being in front of people, but we teach that this is an important skill and not to overlook it. And when they're young, they're also brave. They're willing to do things, new things that they never thought they could before. So I look forward to a day when we have a, a Southern Statesmanship Award for the campers. And, and like the American Legion uh, posts in their, their students to Austin, we should be sending our campers from our camps to Sam Davis Youth Camp for that same perspective and, and, and try to achieve the same goals. Hi, I'm Isaac Hall and um, I'm from Grosbeck, Texas. And last year was my first year at Sam Davis Youth Camp and um, I had a blast. One of the things I really enjoyed about camp was the classroom time. And um, we learned a lot of great things there. Um, some of the things we learned were uh, we learned how the South was right, and um, we even spent a couple of hours learning um, Southern etiquette and other important things that we should know. 
one of the activities that we had was a um, water balloon fight and <laughs> it was a blast. We filled up probably 300, 400 water balloons and um, just divided into two teams and went at it. Um, we had slingshots and all sorts of things. Um, and then once we ran out of water balloons, we, uh, we dumped the coolers of water. So uh, some of the other fun things we did were um, horse riding. We went on trails and it was beautiful. We had a really cool um, boys versus girls um, cabin competitions who could keep their cabin the cleanest. Uh, surprisingly, the boys won. Some other things we did, we went to the local pool and we swam for a couple hours. Um, and we, f we live fired black powder muskets um, and learned the arms drill. And that was a lot of fun too. I met some people that I actually did know. Um, I had seen them at reenactments before. I never really got to know them because um, my family Civil War reenacts. But um, I made a lot of really awesome friends. Um, I still talk to a lot of them, and um, I can't wait to see them next year. Spending a week with them was amazing. They were all really, um, really fun to be with and just really good kids, and I am excited about next year. Hi, I'm Morgan Pate. I'm from Tyler, Texas, and I went to the Sam Davis Youth Camp for one year. The thing I really liked about it was it was an opportunity for me to meet other reenactors and children that liked the same things as I did. Some of the activities that we did at camp was shoot the cannon in the morning, uh, ride horses. One day we shot live-fired infield rifles and danced every night, and at the last day we did a final dance. The thing I liked most was probably shooting the cannons in the morning. Okay. I'm Deborah Robinson. I'm from Palestine, Texas, and I've been a Sam Davis Youth Camp Counselor now for, uh, I think this is me, my fourth year. I'm Shanna Robinson. I live in Palestine, Texas, and this will be my fourth year. Fourth year. <laughs> Um, Sam Davis Youth Camp is a wonderful opportunity for Southern young ladies to have a chance to um, learn more about our history at the same time, uh, having a chance to remember back uh, what it was like to be a lady back you know, in the 1800s during the time of the war between the states. Um, we did lots of, when we separated off away from the young men after our history classes, um, we'll do handicrafts. Uh, some of the girls have had a chance to learn Knitting, um, embroidering, all those types of fun things. And also we get to have a tea party just about every day, which is a lot of fun. We get to be ladies. And, uh, but then they get to go, you know, girls like to hang out with the guys too and do some of the guy sports. So we've had girl, uh, female cannon crews, right, Shannon? Right, we have cannon crews. We also got to use rifles and um, muskets, lot, right? Muskets. For with live ammo that were um, reproductions of the originals from between 1860 and 1865, and some other ones. I had a lot of fun doing that. We that had was archery. A lot of fun. Archery this last uh, year too. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Archery was new. Mm -hmm. so that was a lot of fun. Of course, everyone loves the dancing every evening. What the funny thing part of it is is that the first night the guys are on one wall and the girls are on the other, and and. Uh, the, the guys are, some of the young men are apprehensive about the dancing and, oh, Miss Deborah, I'm, I'm not going to dance. Oh, that's okay, it's okay. Before you know it, by the end of the week, they're right out there in the middle with all the girls dancing and having a good time. Back then, dancing was completely different. It was a social activity, a chance for the young men and young ladies to socialize together. It was like playing a sport to them. You know, it wasn't the same kind of dancing that you would see today, you know, that's for sure. And the funny thing is, is I see some of these young men after camp at some of our reenactments that they do, and they come up, Miss Deborah, let's dance. You know, you got me to dancing. So it's a, it's a lot of camaraderie comes out of this camp, and which is why we're having this ball tonight, the Sam Davis New Year's Ball. The vision that I had for the ball was a chance for the kids to have their own reunion, to come together, because they do miss seeing each other. At this ball tonight, we have um, a family from Missouri. We're here in Texas, of course. And a young lady flew in all the way from North Carolina because she wanted to be with these other um, young men and young women. So lots of neat things come out of the camp.
friendships. And we actually started writing letters together, some of us girls, last two years, which was a lot of fun. We got to use our penmanship that we learned from camp and do it at home and write each other. I'm Johnny Holly. I'm the commander, Texas Division, Sons of Confederate Veterans. Sam Davis Youth Camp has been one of the ways in which we have to bring youth into our organization. Uh, probably one of the largest or the biggest problem that all of these heritage organizations, the SCV, the UDC, all of us, is the age of the membership. And in the schools today, the war is not taught properly. Our children are uh, well, actually dying for information on their ancestry and their heritage. And if we don't bring our young people into the organizations, then our organizations will eventually die. And the Sam Davis Youth Camp is, is probably the best way that we have to not only educate, but do it in such a way that the kids really enjoy it and want to come back and continue their education and uh, get a better understanding of their heritage, a better understanding of what our ancestors stood for, and not only that, just plainly enjoy themselves. And when they leave there, they will have the information, they will have the spirit, they'll have the enthusiasm to hopefully join our heritage organizations and go on to become leaders uh, in the future and continue to fight the fight that we in the SCV and all these other heritage organizations are trying to fight today. Because if we don't protect the heritage of the South, if we don't protect the honor and integrity of the Southern soldier, then nobody else will. And their graves, their monuments, all the things, the memories of uh, the ideals, everything that they stood for will vanish because our enemies are certainly going to uh, try to eradicate it and they have a much uh, broader base than we do. General Cleburne said, if the South should lose, it means that the history of the heroic struggle will be written by the enemy, that our youth will be trained by Northern school teachers and will be impressed by all of the influences of history and education to regard our gallant dead as traitors and our maimed veterans as fit subjects for derision. Today, General Cleburne's words ring all too true. There is no question that the youth of today must run a terrible gauntlet and that many are struck down along the way by one or more of the politically correct influences which flourish in our schools. This summer, you can help turn the tide. For one week, our Southern young men and ladies, ages 12 through 18, will gather to hear the truths about the war for Southern independence. The camp, named for the great young Confederate Sam Davis, will combine fun and recreation with thoughtful instruction in Southern history the war between the states, the theology of the South during the war, lessons on Southern heroes, examples of great men of the faith, and special programs and sessions for our Southern young ladies. We urge you to take advantage of this great opportunity. It is our responsibility to teach our Southern history and culture to the future generations.